Namaste. You will begin standing for this grounding earth flow practice. Learn these foundation movements as the primary vinyasas of this DVD. As you exhale, release your hands towards the earth. Slowly inhale with ujjayi, breathing from the base of your throat and drawing the hands up towards your heart, feeling the breath moving along the spine. As you exhale, relax your face, even bend the knees to open the base of the spine. Inhale, rising up from your feet to the pelvic floor, the lower belly to the heart. And exhale, grounding, centering, exhaling through your mouth. Inhale, drawing the energy up from the base of the throat so you hear the hissing sound of ujjayi. Allow the sound to bring a calming rhythm into your flow. Now bring one hand to your lower belly, the other hand to your sacrum. Bend your knees and drop your tailbone towards the earth. Slowly as you straighten, draw the lower belly to the spine and extend so your heels and crown of the head are extending away from each other. Bending the knees again. Feel this action of drawing up from your roots, expanding the heart. Exhale again. And you want to keep this action present. It's called Uddiyana Bandha, or rising from your roots throughout the entire practice. Bring your hands towards the earth and on an inhale sweep your arms overhead. Exhale, feet together, draw your hands down the center line, opening your heart as you go into a forward bend, Uttanasana. Inhale, come up halfway, hands to your shins. Extend your spine and exhale. Keep that extension as you fold, bending your knees if you need to or straight legs. Rising again, hands to the floor or to your shins. Exhale, bowing, Uttanasana, neck relax. Inhale, press your feet, draw up through the inner legs to your lower belly and exhale, fold again. Time slowly rise and exhale step back into plank position. Now bring your hands underneath your shoulders and bring your knees down as you press your hands into the earth and spread your shoulders wide. Take your hips over your knees and on an inhale draw your knee into your navel and exhale take the knee back into plank asana. Stand on your hands, draw the knee into the navel, and take your foot back again into plank. So keep this rising action through the lower belly, and now create this pulsation in plank, rising through the core with the inhale, and exhale, expanding in the diagonal line into plank. Heels draw away from the heart. Inhale, rounding, letting the neck relax, and then keep that strength of your belly as you extend through your heart and press down through your hands. One more round, and then draw back with that lower belly engaged into downward dog. Inhale, lift your heels to the hips, and exhale, press your heels to the back of your mat. As you lift your heels, feel the inner and outer legs come alive, bending your knees to direct that energy into your lower belly. Now keeping the hips high, straighten your legs and slowly take your heels down. And either with straight legs or knees bent, 
Keep pulling your hips back so the weight is in the center of your body. Now on an inhale, feet together, extend the right leg to the sky. And as you exhale, lower the right foot down to the left. Inhale, extend the left leg to the sky. And exhale, lower the left foot to the right. Inhale as you extend the right leg to the sky. Lead through the ball of the foot, keeping your hips, shoulders, and hands in alignment. Exhale, bring your foot forward between your hands. And you can have your hand either flat or come onto your fingertips. Now bring your right hand to your shin so that as you lift through your lower belly, and you exhale, try and bring your right knee over your ankle without taking it past your heel. Inhale, lift through the core again. And bring your hand to your back calf now so that when you're lifting, you're also keeping your knee stabilized over your heel. Now bring your hand down, and as you lift up through your belly, send the energy now forward through the front knee and balance and back through your left leg to your left heel. Inhale, rise to the core. You can be on your fingertips or fist. And now exhale, extend in the four directions, forward and back, down through the right hip and up through the left thigh. Now inhale, come back to plank. And either knees or straight legs, prepare for chaturanga. Elbows shave your side, lower down, one staff, inhale, come back up, exhale, pressing back into plank asana. Now either knees or straight legs, chaturanga, the staff is connecting from your heels, hips, shoulders and crown. Come down to the earth and press your pelvis as you roll your shoulders back for cobra. Now you can stay in this low cobra to strengthen your spine, or you can choose to roll into upward dog, standing on your hands, shoulders over the wrists, thighs off the ground, drawing the energy evenly through your heart to the crown of the head and back through your toes. As you exhale, press back into downward dog. Now create space around your neck by bending your elbows and maintaining that space as you roll your outer shoulders under towards your face. Now keeping that space, press down through your hands, bring the feet together and inhale, extend your left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring the foot forward between your hands. Now for the four movements of lunge again. Start with your hand to your left shin, and as you coil up through the lower belly, and exhale, radiate the left leg forward, but not past the heel. Inhale, relax the neck, bring the hand to the calf, so that when you're coiling up, you're still maintaining that stability. Now feel the flow of your breath extending through the entire base of your body. So as you exhale, radiating forward and back. Inhale, opening the hips as you exhale and feel your left hip ground to the earth and right thigh stabilize you by pressing to the sky. Now inhale, come to plank asana again. And your chaturanga, straight legs or knees bent, exhale down, shoulder, hips and heels in alignment, roll into upward dog or cobra. And exhale, pressing back, downward dog. So you can draw the pulsation of the life force into your upper body. Inhale, rounding like cat's breath. Exhale, heart towards the earth. Now bring your feet together, and on an inhale, extend your right leg towards the sky. Exhale, drawing the knee through your center, bringing your foot between your hands. And now take your left knee down, and we'll 
slowly bring one hand to the lower belly, one hand to the sacrum, and creating Uddiyana Bandha as the base. As you inhale and sweep your arms up, lift through the core and through your side waist and back of your body so that you have this extension through the roots. You can interlace your first three fingertips and draw the energy up from your roots to the fingers. Exhale, take your hands down. And inhale into Plank Asana again. Exhale, your Chaturanga knees or straight legs. Roll into Cobra, Upward Dog. And exhale, pull back through your belly, Downward Dog. And bringing your feet together, left leg extends to the sky. Exhale, bring the foot forward between your hands. Let your right knee come down. Feeling the foundation of the lower belly as the grounding between the earth and the tailbone and the lower belly rising towards the sky. Interlace the first three fingers. And exhale, hands to the earth. Inhale, prepare and plank. And maintain that integrity as you exhale down into Chaturanga. Inhale into Upward Dog or Cobra. And exhale, press back into Downward Dog. Feet together, inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it forward between your hands. Now inhale, lift your arms overhead now into Crescent Asana. And you can see the progression from the lunges that we've been in. You can have your hands apart or interlaced together or you can take your hands behind you. Inhale, go straight up through the core and exhale, coming down into Plankasana, to Chaturanga. Inhale, rise, standing on your hands, opening from the pubic bone to the heart and exhale, press back, downward dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring your foot forward. Inhale, rise into Crescent Asana. Hands apart or interlaced. Exhale, interlace your hands behind you. Inhale, rising up. And exhale, down into Chaturanga now. Feeling the strength and relaxing into that opening upward dog or cobra and exhale downward dog inhale right leg extends again exhale bring the foot forward between your hands this time take your back heel down and rise into Virabhadrasana 1 keep the lunge base feel the extension from the lower belly to the fingertips and as you exhale your hands down and go through the vinyasa with consciousness. Exhale to Chaturanga. Draw your shoulders from Chaturanga into Upward Dog, rolling the shoulders back and exhale Downward Dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale as you bring your foot forward to take your back heel down in the diagonal and rise into Virabhadrasana 1. Each asana maintains the progression from one asana to the other. So as you exhale down, see if you can maintain the body action from one asana, one breath to the next. And this creates that centering connection as life flows from one moment to the next with consciousness. Inhale, extend the right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring the foot forward between your hands. This time as you rise into Virabhadrasana 1, we'll go into another variation. Exhale, bring your hands to your thigh, take your left hand to your lower belly, and as you draw the energy to the core, roll your shoulders back so you can maintain the halfway point with core integrity. As your hands interlace behind you, exhale, bow, crown of the head to your inner ankle. Keep your tailbone to your back heel, 
opening the inner and outer hip. Shoulders stretch to the sky. As you inhale, take your arms up overhead. And exhale, hands to the earth. Pass through plank and your chaturanga. As you rise into upward dog, you're always welcome to skip any of these vinyasas and just go straight to downward dog. This is your practice. Feet together, inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it forward between your hands. Back heel grounds. Inhale, hands to the thigh. Coil through Uddiyana Bandha, keeping your shoulders back and your back heel, tailbone, heart and crown in alignment. Interlace your hands. And as you bow, bow to the earth. Release any tension through your neck, any excess thought. Rising up with that clarity, arms stretch overhead. And exhale down in a flow, maintaining the rising energy underneath your body. Exhale, keep that into Chaturanga and rise into Upward Dog or Cobra. Exhale, Downward Dog your feet together and inhale right leg to the sky exhale bring your foot forward between your hands back heel comes down inhale rise into Virabhadrasana one exhale interlace your hands and bow forward inhale rising now in a flow arms stretch overhead Exhale, passing through the sacred vinyasa. Inhale, rising into upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. So repeating the same cycle with even greater integrity and grace the foot forward slowly between your hands, grounding through the back heel, maintaining the lunge as you reach your arms up. Exhale, interlace your hands behind you and bow forward. Inhale, rising into Virabhadrasana one. And exhale, passing through your vinyasa. Draw your hands to the core and lift through the pelvic floor. As you exhale and radiate your arms, radiate the energy evenly in four directions through your legs. Now keep that base and inhale into side warrior two. And exhale, stay in one plane as your elbow comes to your thigh. Roll the chest to the sky. Now sweep the arm down and inhale, come into Virabhadrasana two. Exhale, hands come to the earth. Inhale. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, rise, enlivening the legs. Exhale, pressing back. Feet together. Inhale, open through your hip. Exhale, bring the foot forward between your hands, back heel down. And rise into Virabhadrasana too. So the same cycle, exhale, draw the hands to the heart as you lift through the pelvic floor. Exhale, radiating the energy from the core. Inhale, reaching back into side warrior. Stay grounded through your left hip. Exhale, bring your elbow to the thigh and the right arm sweeping overhead. Rolling the shoulder to the 
face, sweep the arm back and inhale into Virabhadrasana two. And exhale flowing down through Chaturanga. Inhale, rise into Upward Dog. And now exhale, bring your knees to the earth, the width of your mat, toes together, and rest your head onto your hands so that you can feel the energy that you've circulated through this earth foundation practice. Open hips, open heart, open mind.